relax and be comfortable, okay? If you don't want to answer any question, please tell me. All of you are here on the interview topic, social problem. You are volunteer to tell your own experience to the audience. What is your story? I'm a student. Since school, I'm good at English. It's obvious that I try so hard. I study a lot. I watch tons of movies with no subtitles. I try to speak more with the foreigners. My main language isn't even English. I just want someone to notice my efforts. Not because I'm half European. I just try really hard. My friend works in a company. He's going to be fired and his boss wants to hire Burmese instead because his boss believes that they work harder than Thai people and they are not serious about the salary they get. My life is normal until I know this guy. He is a friend of a friend. He naturally bitter and likes to make fun of my sexuality. I am a public servant. Since I applied to work, I saw all the corruption from pulling something to get to work. It really hurt. Then I got an honorary degree and got to a really good score. But can't just pull something and suddenly got the job with I deserve. When I asked the investigation, they just waved their hand and dismissed me. Next, I'm going to interview the victim of our society and we'll censor their face. May I? Yes, of course. In your opinion, why do you think stereotypes are negative? I think it's because of people's brain respond more on the negative information. For example, Negroids are more likely to be scary and maybe dangerous. But not that it's true. I have a few Negroid friends who are really sweet and really nice. Can you give me an example of positive stereotypes? Positive stereotypes are Asians are good at math and Negroids with greater athletic ability, such as Usain Bolt, who win the first place of the world race. So, should we get started? Sure. Do you think you can hold a prejudice about a minority, ethnic, or racial group without discriminating against that group? Yes, we can. The prejudice is caused by a strong and complicated emotion. It doesn't mean the group we don't like did something wrong. It's just an emotion. So, if we hold a moral attitude, they won't be discriminated against the group. Hmm, and why do you think people want to hold a prejudice? I think people want to hold a prejudice because it's a physical logical reason that the prejudice on minorities makes people feel like they are better. It's something that had to do with self esteem, so those are human, natural, absolutely, and some of them might do the discriminating without knowing. That's a uh Really interesting theory. Next up is Dr. Harley Greenwood, sociologist and psychologist. She is going to help us understand ethnicity and race a bit more. Let's start. What do you think about ethnicity discrimination? How does this affect society? I think. Ethnicity is a big topic because it involves lifestyle. With some time, one culture of one land had a disadvantage to another land. So, ethnicity become a big topic in society. If people want to cause it in society, they need to adapt. About lens, I think it a bit vain because it had no scientific proof. And it doesn't trouble anyone at all. Plus, there's still some group that it less it. I have Kyle just have this kind of trouble. You want to talk to her? Yes, sure. I'm the only Asian in class, and because I'm Asian, I got treated differently from the others. 
people look down on me to the point where I got depressed. How did you get through it? There's a teacher. She always encouraged me and said that I did nothing wrong. I'm not that different from them. She encouraged me about education and I also consult with Dr. Hurley to the point where I believe in myself. I try to adjust to my friends. It may be slow, but I did it. Finally, people start to understand me because of Dr. Hurley and the teacher.